The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman live here. This is the uh, 2 o'clock. I'm just trying to check the time. 2.06, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 24th. Uh, and we're looking at this Eastern time. We're looking at the Dow um, down 229. Let me just run these numbers here. This is a really important session because uh, INDU. Yeah, we go. Because the Dow just broke its key support level. And that just says at 32,826, 32,600 to 500, is going to have to be really important support over the next few days. If it takes that out, that's, a, that's, a, that's quite a bit of a problem. Looking at the S&P, something very different happened. S&P went up, made a little doji candle a few days ago, turned down and is underneath key support. But the 200 period moving average of 4,043 is still quite far away. We're at 4,114. So it says it's still, it, it's very interesting. We've had a rollover. We had strength that was led this time. The last big move up was led by the QQQs, then the S&P, then the Dow was the laggard. IWM was the laggard laggard. So what we're looking at here is that on the way down, the Dow is down 0.7% today. The S&P is down 0.74, but the QQQ, if I can just stretch over there, is oh, down 0.74. They're all doing the same thing. So much for that. But what we're looking at is that the weekly charts are actually still pretty darn strong. And all I can say is that in terms of really negative action, if we were right now down 650 points and at uh, 2, what is it, 208? in the afternoon, Eastern Time. And by 3.30, we started to get to 7.80. And then by 4 o'clock, we're absolutely at the low of the day. The futures are expanding. And even into the, uh, even into the after hours, uh, there's an expansion. Then I would say that is really bearish. This is just the start of the rollover to the downside. We haven't got any momentum. In fact, I've, I haven't. I have to wait for the end of the day to see if I even get a sell signal in the S and P. I have in the QQQ a sign that says the buy mode is still in place. It has done nothing. This is just a, a, an eye blink. Um, it's back to where it was five sessions ago, and therefore you need to see if you're really bearish. You want to see just this waterfall cascade expand and it hasn't done that yet and the day's young anything can happen it's down 2.42 in the qqq if you look at the nq which is the continuous contract of the um, of the e mini nasdaq 100 continuous contract that's only just made a leg d and today is the first down day um making a peak d because i don't see how it can get above yesterday's high in the continuous contract of of uh 13,979. So this is just the start of a move. That says there's a chance if NVIDIA, I'm just trying to give a little package here together, and then I want to go back. We were, last hour I did currencies, I did the dollar, I did the um, I did particular gold, st uh, silver stock. Uh, uh, it used to be silver Wheaton. And I did, um, what was the other question I had? Oh, AT&T. And I'm just, uh, I, I'd be very nervous about going into the, uh, anything to do with consumers like the telecommunications at this particular point. So um, the NQ, look at this month, the weekly chart, it's fabulous. Even the monthly is doing very nicely here. So it, price is the arbiter of a trend, and this trend changes completely if in the first, oh, let's call it the first week of June, instead of retesting the 13,900s in the NQ, we're actually below 13,000, going for the 12,700, 200 period moving average. That will make a difference because then the price will be under the 14 period moving average in the weekly chart, which it hasn't done for quite some time. Okay, 
With that said, um, what did I, oh, I want you to just finish up. I want you to show you gold. Gold is actually holding pretty darn well, but it's been in this huge consolidation um, since March. In fact, talking about consolidation, let me just show you this chart here. So let me make this. It's the Dow chart right here. I like to talk about dark news cloud cover. It's something I discovered and, and created, oh, years and years ago. I call it the Chapman, Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover, and I usually use the Dow. And one of the reasons why I use this is because the Dow reflects a lot of different sectors in the 30 stocks. It's really the Dow 30. It has nothing to do with industrials anymore. They, they've misnamed it. This is, I mean, that's a characterization. These days, it's not good to be uh, uncharacteristically characteristic. Because that's, um, it should, it, there are two, three industrials, Boeing, I mean, you've got a couple, and that's a handful that, that doesn't even make a handful. So I still use it because it's, it, it's got Home Depot, it's just all, it's got financials, it's got everything. But I've said since 11th of November 2022 that I think we're in a very long, larger dark news cloud cover, and I use the internal low and the residual low and the internal high and residual low to give turning points. Well, I had a question the other day, and I thought this is a question, but I don't think I, I want, to, want to even make a fuss of it. And in fact, I'm going to take it away because I said, is this really, have we just seen the arch formation in an internal low and a residual low? And then I put it as the big question mark, and I just three days ago, I said to myself, oh, don't forget to take that away because that's not applicable now. Only the dark news cover. And what it means is that all the time, the news, you know, the people love to say, um, oh, the market hates uncertainty. My expression is, the market loves uncertainty. It deals with it every single day. It hates uncertainty about uncertainty. And that's where we are. We're one or two removed. And that says you've got to be really careful because look at this look at this cap on the upside. It's extending. Now I can even move it over a little bit. So it's extending. And it just says be really careful because the upside is becoming limited until you find an internal low and a residual low. And that can happen in the next couple of weeks. But something's going on that you've got to recognize is a lot more than just ho-hum. That doesn't mean to say we're in for a crash. It says this choppiness can continue for a while as we have rotational corrections. Even today, what we're looking at is you've got um, an Amazon. I don't know where it is right now, but we looked at it earlier on. I typed it in somewhere. It's the wrong place. A-M-Z-N. Amazon. Tap it in over there. Okay, AMZN, there it is. Uh, look, it's it's up dollar thirty-four. Apple is still holding pretty well, down twenty-one cents. It has made a peak E. It has done in the weekly uh, left side, right side price time match. Look at the bar symmetry. The number of bars to the left side equal the number of bars to the right side in this weekly chart from one seventy-six fifteen way back in August. I think last year goes down to 124 points and it comes back to exactly the week and the chapter wave inside wedge target resistance line right there 176 what 39 the last one was 176.50 how did markets know to get back to almost within pennies of the of the last high so it's rotation i'll be back and there are a lot of things we want to look at we want to look at silver we want to look a little bit more at gold i'll be back Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. The Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Eastern Time, every market day. But I've just I did uh, Larry's show, and I'm uh, it was just there was so much to do that I decided I will I will spend this time now because uh, the market is really at a very a pretty critical level, just on the very near term because the near term is going to give us a, a, a good sense. Let me just look at this uh, 46, 46, 19, 46, 20. 4640. Oh, that's the low. Sorry. So this is in leg C. All right. I just wanted to do this. I had a question if I would look at, I, could, I think it's called OmniCell. <laughs> um, a little difficult to see. A, B, A, B, C. Yeah, this is overlapping. This is a, a, a C. So this is trading O M. CL is, is the symbol. I'm not sure. Omnicell, I don't know whether it's cell phones or whether it's cell uh, because it's biotech, whatever it is. It's trading at 72.51, up 45, 49 cents on a day like this, where the Dow is down 260, the SP is down 33. This is nice action. It is, it, it's testing the 200 period moving average. So I don't know what your position is. Um, Question in the den. Let me just see if there was anything else added. Basil, I'm not sure if you have time, but can you do a run through of OMCL? Thank you. Yeah, I prefer GBT to say, uh, let's do a, a run through so that there's no position. I'm just looking at it. I'm saying, what's going on? Fabulous. Look at the way it's walking the nine period moving average in the weekly chart. Even the monthly, which is a horrible looking chart, going from the 180, almost 190 level. Uh, I would say down to the 40, 42, 43. Um, that's a problem. But now it's at 72. I love this action. So now you can see how important the 200 period moving average is. So this 200 period moving average, forget about it. You didn't even see it 
Uh, that's what I say. Just put them in. Put these moving averages in. You don't have to deal with it ever until it gets close. Well, talk about getting close. Look at the way back in 2022, this is a daily chart, it did a, a dreaded H pattern and failed right there on the 18th of January of 2022. It pulls back, but the magnet of the 200 period moving average, because it's a long look back. I remember discussing with, with, with the late Dave White. We spent some time, he did a whole bunch of things I introduced him to. The way I think about the nine period expansion moving average, and he did a whole study, and of course he developed something really fabulous on his own with the nine period moving average, where he called it the nine, uh, the nine oscillator. Um, but we also discussed the longer term of the 200 period moving edge. And my contention was when you look back that long, 200 bars, in this case days, something's going on in the mechanism, in the, in the formulation or the data there that makes it really important with that long look back period that when you revisit that, what happens when you revisit it? What happens when you broke it? And look, how important was it ran right to it back in February, uh, the um, 11th of February, 2022. It went to 159.57, and that was it. Goodbye. It never even got close to the 200 period moving. I'm, this is the orange line. I'm going to scroll this to the right. Tell me when it gets close. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oops, starting to rise, getting closer, getting closer. Look, the green nine period moving average is holding beautifully getting closer, and as it gets to within a fraction, that becomes a magnet. It's like a, like a magnet. You know, a magnet, you can have a little piece of metal or something, you put it close, nothing, and it just grabs it like a, like a praying mantis. Well, here's your praying mantis. 200 period moving average, it's there. So this is a very important sign. What it's saying is, unless I'm at 72, unless I break into the 60, below 68 in the next week, it needs time and speed as well. Um, that 200 period moving average is a magnet, and you want it to become a propellant. It's acting so well in this environment. I like this sort of thing. I don't know what it does, as I say. But what I would look for is if it's able, I'm not going to do a wave count now, other than to say it looks to me like it's peak A, peak B, peak C, and it's just gone to a peak D today. If it holds, and doesn't close below the 14 period moving average of 70.12 in the next three days. But instead, it doesn't have to close above it, just nicks the high of yesterday, which is 70, 76.15. All of a sudden, you're looking at a stock that says, in this environment, I have my own, uh, um, my own agenda. I'm not interested in what's going on. If it breaks and closes under the 69, 68 level in the next couple of days, it says, hey, I'm with the market. I'm weakening. But right now, it's beautiful. This is great. So this is what you want to put on your, if you haven't got it already, especially if you've got it lower down, this is what you would like to keep as a keeper. And you want to trade around it with a little bit. So trading around it says, I would add back if in the next few days, the market continues to be kind of weak, doesn't have to be breaking down, but kind of weak. And you can see this hit the 70 point or even doesn't hit the 70.13 level. It just pulls back once. And then it starts to rally above 72.82. That's where you can say, hey, I think it might even break to the upside. But that would just be a short term trade. Now, if you have no position, you just want to know about it and you want an ideal place just visually where you think it could be. I'd have to wait for it to break down. But I would do this. I'd actually have two positions. I'd have a split position saying, wow, in this environment, if there's a doji candle close on Friday and it breaks down next week, I say, just be real careful. But I would actually nibble at it right here at 72.72, but I would absolutely have a one and a half point stop. It's a pretty tight stop. I'd have a tight stop. Why? Because this is almost like a Chapman Wave inverted Roman candle. If at any point in the next three days it trades at 75.17, for more than an hour and a half, there's a real good chance it's going to test the high. So, but in a longer term position, if you haven't got it, you can nibble here, but the real position, you just have to have patience to wait for the 60, 67 to 65 area, then give me a yell, we'll look at it again. I like it very much. Just the environment right now says, 
there's a good chance that almost everything's going to be pulled back if this market, we, for instance, now the Dow's at 267. If we close down 425 or something like this, this will be impacted. But it's acting really well. I love stocks like this when um, when you're looking for a position that's going to be a tell in the short term, but you really like it for the long term. So it's like you have to have a split position. One is to get in, put your foot in the door, see how it acts. You might get it might do well, and then you get stopped out saying, "Hey, I like this." Next time I'll put a bigger position on, but now I have to wait for a pullback. Remember, uh, this 200 period moving average is now a magnet. So unless it closes under 68, 67, that'll take more time. But if it holds well, that it, it'll keep coming back. Next question was, if I can see it, I think I lost my question. If I have time, can I look at pins? P-I-N-S, that's pin interest. Pinterest. Inc. Discovery Engine for Recipes, Home Ideas. I always look at this and I think it has something to do with interest rates. I just always forget that it is Engine for Recipes, Home Ideas. I love this, this movement up. It's going right to the gap. That's going to be the big test. I'll be back. The Dow's down 277. Let's just have a quick look at the E-mini right here. Did it get that D failure pattern? Oh, oh, quickly, quickly. Yeah, peak T, double top, pulling back. Yeah. 4119. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hello, so thank you uh, for telling me that uh, uh, 
Omnicell uh, has uh, dispensers, uh, automatic dispensers in hospitals. So that, that's important to know. So what we're looking at is Pinterest uh, trading up 53 cents at 24.30 in this environment. Well, what has it done? There was this horrible gap. One day, two, 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 trading the 27 area. And the next day, on the 27th of April, at 27, uh, 80, 60, the next day, the high is 24.30. And that's it. Goodbye. And it goes all the way down to 20.40, was it? 20.60 uh, on the 4th of May. And now it's got peak A, peak B. It's in Alexia. Remember, in the Chapman methodology, once you break a penny above the previous peak, it becomes a leg. And that leg stays as a floating leg until you make the peak. So if there's a lower high tomorrow, that'll be a peak C. So what are we doing? Remember what I said? The high was uh, 24 right here on the 26th of uh, April. The high was 24.50. Today's high is 24.47 within three cents. I like this very much. The 200 period of moving average of 25.44, I think is going to stall this, this whole move to the upside. I don't think it's going to fill the entire gap. But at the same time, the MACD is good. The stochastic's flat at 89%. Uh, the nine period today has gone positive. I like it very much. Uh, I think in this environment, to get something that... I'm not sure why. What happens is sometimes something gets shot down because it is just the news at that moment is just so negative, but it does quickly fill the gap. This hasn't even gone. This is the first time it's going to the gap, and it's already a month, almost a month. So it says to me that the gap itself is going to be resistance. I like it because it's shown that it's got strength to come back from ever the bad news was. But I don't like it enough because it hasn't filled the gap. And that's going to be huge to fill the gap. And the monthly chart, the weekly chart, just has, it just says it's in a big consolidation. And this whole area between 20, uh, between 25, maybe 26, between 25 or 26 and 23 is going to, to me, it looks like it's going to go into a trading range just after this. So I do like it. But as a position in this environment, I think it will be affected by the market. If the general market starts to deteriorate, it will drag down. But if it holds 20, if you're looking, if you're not in a rush, if you're not saying, just, oh, I gotta get, I like that. I, I've got, it's got away from me from 21 and now it's at 24, three points. It's, it's like 14, 12%. Um, now, look at it differently. Look at the weekly chart. Look at the monthly chart. The monthly chart says small candles, small candles, but it, that 14 period moving average in the 25s is so strong as resistance, it hasn't been able to break above it and hold. It, it touches it and breaks above it, but it cannot hold it through a month. But it is acting quite well when you think about deterioration in some areas that are, I call this an internet type, uh, type uh, um, um, stock. So I'm just going to say, 24.30 right now. Normally, I'd say take a little nibble here, but your real position should be at about the 22.50 area. Give it a little bit of a pullback, but if it breaks 22, I'd be very nervous. I'd rather just say hold off for right now. If you're in it, that's good. Just raise. I, I If you're in it, I'd have a, a trading position and raise the stop on the trading position. But if you're not in it, I think it's going to give some of this back. I don't see uh, it's a 24:30. I wouldn't be surprised. What's today? Wednesday. I wouldn't be surprised. A week from today, somehow or other, it's tested. The low today is 23:44. I suspect it's going to test 20 the 22:90s. And uh, it could be wrong, but that's just the way I'm looking at it. So a couple of questions came in. Um, could you could you do you it's spoken about the British pound? Um, could you do, what was it again? Oh, where did it go? I can't find it right now. Oh, oh, that's right. You had done platinum, but you didn't discuss it. So platinum, so this is what, you know, here at TFNN, there are so many analysts like like Larry, like Tom. Uh, Tommy does it as well. Steve Rose does this all the time. I do it in a different way, and that is the lightning bolts. So in the Chapman Wave, Peak A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's just something completely different to the lightning bolt, which says A to B equals C to D. The price movement between A and B, if you wait and you get a bounce or uh, the other way around, a drop, 
you can get the same amount of points to the upside, um, and that that's that's a technique. But I I developed a way of looking at it, and it, it's I use it in certain circumstances. This is one of them, where I look at it and I say, okay. Um, I want a parallel movement, so I call it the one-to-one -one price extension. In other words, I'm not happy just that it goes one A to B and then two to two up to to C and then you come down, kind of come down. I want the number of bars on the downside to equal the number of bars on uh, the, on the next phase to the downside. Well, lo and behold, uh, platinum continuous contract made a high on the 21st of April. And if I can read these things, let me put it over there. At 1,148. Pulls back all the way to 1,042. Bounces to, on the, on the 10th of May, bounces to 1137. And look at this today. It just nicked the exact one-to-one. -one. And look at the parallel move. This is your, I want the number of bars on the downside to match on the right side at the same angle, and that's exactly what you've got. But at 11, at, at 10.30 right now, that's not good enough for me. The MACD's weak, stochastic said 25% is lousy, on balance of one of them is weak, the pink nine period moving average for about four days has been weak. I think that uh, a, a nine, 1,010 is the 200 period moving average. I think it takes it out and tries to bounce above it. So I, that would be my target. <clears throat> and if you're looking at the left side, right side price time match, that's the vertical analysis right, right here between uh, January or so of this year and let me just do this in April. Look, the MACD was good, but not as good as it was. Stochastic is weaker. It's under 80 percent. So this just says to me the right side measure, vertical measure, has way weaker technicals, but wait a minute. The nine period moving average is way above the 14. That says either this thing's going to tank all the way down to the 940s, 950 to 940 level. <clears throat> Finally, see the pink uh, nine period moving average turn negative by going pink, or it's enough strength to say it's going to take time for platinum to move down. And to do that, it's going to be choppy. You might get another little arch formation take about a week or two, and then it turns down. That's the only way you're going to get it. So it says, weekly so there's some internal strength. <clears throat> Daily has a one-to-one -one extension, parallel extension, I call it, and that targets the 10-10 level. But I wouldn't be surprised if it goes below that. Next question was, could I do a, a short term? Could you do a short Oh, Basil, can you see scenario that oil suddenly becomes streamer stock for a few days. Um, you know, we've got the music coming on. I'll, I'll put this up right now. That I, I'm, I really have determined in my analysis of looking at that is at peak. So I'll talk about crude oil when we return. And someone asked me about the 10 minute chart of gold. Can I do that? Remember, we're always looking for PDs. I wonder if skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks, we're back. So I had a couple of questions. One was a net. <clears throat> Um, ANET is A-N-E-T, -E typed it into the den, type it here, is A-N-E-T, trading at uh, 141, round number, up 53 cents. It's not a bad chart. It's gone peak A, peak B, peak C. The MACD's okay. Stochastic's trying to rally. And this is also another huge gap story. See how gaps are so important? If Within three sessions, there are a whole bunch of things that need to happen. None of them have happened yet that are positive. They're all weak. But it's used the 200 period to balance. But you see the doji candle there for two days now. It's been lousy. I would just say that the magnet of 135 at the 200 period exponential moving average is, I would put 137 to 135. That is, that's the support that needs to hold. I think it's a little early. The weekly says it's a little early um, and that it could fail. If at any point in the next two weeks, it cracks and closes under 132, that's a real problem. It needs to see about, it needs to fill some of the gap at least. It needs to get to the 148. I would just say if it can get to the, it's a 141 right now. If it can get over 146 in the next couple of days, that says, oh, it's trying to fill some of the gap. But it's not a favorite stock that I, chart pattern that I'd be looking at right now. Next thing was wheat, W-E-A-T. This is the uh, instrument, Tiacrim, Tecrium, uh, wheat fund. I'm trading at 614. Wow, these sixes are so important. Let me just look at wheat itself. So wheat, as is obviously the same pattern, had a nice session yesterday, giving back a chunk of it today. And look, a doji candle. Let's see how, uh, by Friday if there's a doji candle close on wheat. And by Wednesday of next week, instead of being on the continuous contract at 6, 605, it's actually trading <clears throat> at 6. 38 to 642 that'll make this little doji candle a potential turnaround candle but until that happens i just think wheat is the whole thing you know we have the dba which has wheat in it look how this is held steady but it's starting to make lower lows and lower highs this is the dba agricultural fund we got it in the 13s it's hit 2137 it's trading at 20 right now i it just seems to me wheat soybean <clears throat> There's a soybean continuous contract. Remember now, if you're trading some of these commodities, you have a particular, you don't just trade the, the continuous contract. You could, in fact, have, uh, you know, whatever it is, Hudson, whatever wheat it is, 
but that's different. I'm just looking at the contract, and this is a lot. Look at this weekly. Uh, it's just looked and made this beautiful arch pattern. It's retesting. It looks to me like wheat at, at 1324 also. They're in the same category. Look at uh, corn. Now, they're different categories if you're a farmer. These are very different things. But, yeah, look, corn has had a nice bounce. That's what you want to see, a bounce that takes out all the left side Resistance. It hasn't done it yet at 567, 587, I'm sorry. Uh, it's up 10, <clears throat> but a nice four candles move to the upside, three candles actually. You want to see by Wednesday, a week from today, the 200 period moving average of six, if I can get the exact number, of 605 tested. Oh, it's going to take a lot to do that. And then by the end of next, somewhere in the middle of June, you want to see corn. <clears throat> Stop this arch formation that keeps making lower lows and lower highs, and all of a sudden turn around and start trading. I don't care what the pattern is, but it's got to be trading above 603 to 608, somewhere in that area, for about a week. And then I'll say, hey, that's a good change. All right, next question came in. Um, oh, you're long reach? Okay, well, then all I'm going to do is, is say this this is exactly the moment. That is the test because every time it's it's failed like this, it's had a turnaround and took out the left side low. So the doji candle a few days ago, um, all I can say is this: if it takes out the low of yes of six oh seven, no, I, I I I don't want to make the stop too tight. I don't know what your stop is. I can just tell you that if it starts to trade in the five nineties, and five ninety doesn't hold. You don't want to touch this. Look at the Eiffel Tower straight up and straight down in the peak D high that was made back in 22, up at about nearly 13, up in the 1280s. And now it's at six. It's been cut in half. That monthly chart is not looking good at all for wheat. Ooh. So are we looking at some deflationary aspect? Here? You know, there are a lot of things in this market that are going right. I'm not happy about the bonds. Oh, so I hope that helped you um, just in the sense that I don't like I don't like the monthly pattern. I don't like the weekly pattern. And the daily pattern said a dreaded H and already taken out the left side low. It's trying to rally above it. So this is really an important moment. If no matter what it dives down to in the next day or two, if by Tuesday or Wednesday next week, it actually can get to the 635, 642 level, that'll say, ha, huh, a cluster formation allows it to go a bit higher. That's what you need to see. Okay, um, question came in. Oh, where, where was that? Um, oh, bonds. So look at this. Yes, bonds. <clears throat> James Bonds. You've got this rectangle formation. It made the arch. You know, this is so, it, it happens so frequently that I make a big deal of it either at the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. But you're stuck in a range. And this range is saying, I keep rallying and then failing. Because the stochastic and the unbalanced volume can't hold gains. And that's the importance of moving averages. You've got to know how to use them. The unbalanced volume is getting very oversold. So this is the bonds themselves. But let me go to the TLT. Everybody can type in TLT. Not, not everybody has the bond contract. So the TLT says to me, the rectangle formation makes the 99 level this low right here, we've once made the arch formation, took out the left side low of that there. Now we're going to see if we test it. But the rising rates is an issue because we looked at the HGX, that's the Philadelphia Housing Sector uh, Index, uh, a little earlier on. And that has started to, it made a high and now starting to pull back. I'll go to it in a moment. But 98.88, that 98, 99 to 98 area has to be key support. So what I did is using my technique of the left side, right side price time match, I've got until uh, the 31st, the end of, I, I would put all of next week as absolutely key because if 99 is taken out, this low right here of 98.48, I should type that in, 98.48, the beginning of March, absolutely imperative all. If that is taken out, <clears throat> then you're going to see yields. Let's go to the yields. T and X dot X. <clears throat> At a peak C, 
they are not actually a- acting. This is this is a T and X. So this is the ten year T note. That's different to the thirty year. The TLT is twenty plus year, twenty and higher uh, time frames uh, for the for the bonds themselves. This is the ten year. The ten year is acting well, and I'm using the ten year to say, I think we're in a trading band. I don't think right now yields are the issue. <laughs> I just think they 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 stuck between. Uh, 3709, that's 3.709, and let's call it 30, it's been uh, 3860 on the upside, and the downside, 3530, 3.53. I think it's just kind of stuck there. Uh, but the monthly chart is saying, uh, you know, I'm making the straight line. I love the straight lines. Look at this. In a monthly chart, to get six, six months worth of lows, exactly mathematically look at that how does that happen just amazing how that happens look at that perfect all of the lows i'll be back in a moment basil chapman if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market then rocket equities and options report is a newsletter you should try Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Here and of course, Tom O'Brien, the one and only Tom O'Brien, will be wrapping it up, coming up this next hour. It should be a great show. This is a great time to have him talking about. This is, this is where I, over the 20-something years I've been uh, here uh, the, the Tom just comes comes alive when he sees markets that are weak. It's just amazing how he it's like <clears throat> he looks at it and he says, "Ah, I know this market. I know what's going on." So uh, in the meantime, so uh, for my opening call subscribers, we missed by a few pennies yesterday, getting short three times short uh, the SBXS 
that's the uh, three times short the SPY. Uh, pity it had a really nice move to the upside, but uh, this is uh, if this is going to be a bear market, we've got plenty of time. But one of our stocks is actually moving up quite nicely today. I'll talk about it just briefly right here. SYM is a stock that we got symbolic. Um, it's a leg C, maybe an alternate account, E slash C, but I've identified this as a stock in play. I don't really want to uh, talk about what in play means, but it just means it's kind of the stock that has the potential. I have no idea if it's going to do that, but it has at robotic warehouse automation systems. It just has the, the potential to be something that people keep gravitating to. Um, so we're in a much lower down is trading in the, we're in the 21s, trading at 31. But I, I, I like this. Look at that beautiful left side, right side price time match in the weekly chart. Look at that beautiful formation, cup formation, number of bars to the left, equal exactly the number of bars before it broke out. Here's a chapter wave inside a uh, wedge target resistance line. If I extend it up, that's exactly where we are right now. Monthly chart is now, for the first time, only in the leg A, treated as an IPO. Oh, it could pull back, could pull back all the way back to the 24-22 area. But I, I just like the fact that in markets like this, we had one before that was OMCL that is just doing something different to what the market's doing. I kind of like that. Hey, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. I'll be back tomorrow for my show at 10 o'clock. And uh, oh, looking forward to a long weekend coming up here. Stay tuned for Tom O'Brien. Don't forget, Tommy Jr. starts us off at 9 a.m. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you.